Hi everyone. From this video, we'll discuss about mechanism of labor. There are nine cardinal movements. Simply, how we can remember. So there is a simple step. I am going to tell about the mechanism of labor. Uh, we'll see further. Okay. So this is a uh, maternal pelvis. This is a fetus. Hope uh, this you know very well. So the first one is uh, encagement and descent. Encagement and descent is a continuous process throughout the labor. It will take place. Okay, for this mechanism of labor, we'll discuss about LOA. That is left occipital anterior position. Left occipital anterior position. The occiput touches the iliopectinal eminence. Then sinciput facing the right sacroiliac joints. Shoulders are in left oblique diameter. Sagittal sutures are in right oblique diameter. Okay, the encaging diameter usually suboccipital pragmatic or suboccipital frontal then encagement descent it's a continuous process after that there will be the flexion of the head once the head meet the resistance of the birth canal flexion of the head is achieved after the flexion of the head there will be the internal rotation of the head from the iliopectinal eminence to the symphysis pubis the shoulders are in left oblique diameter when the head is in ap diameter after the um, internal rotation there will be there will be the crowning crowning means the occiput escape from the subpubic arch so this is the subpubic arch this occiput escape from the subpubic arch that is the crowning after the crowning there will be the extension extension the sinciput chin sweeps over the thinned out perineum then there will be the restitution again one eighth circle the head has rotate to release the twist which is occurred into the internal rotation so after the restitution there will be the internal rotation of the shoulder and external rotation of the head so the shoulders are in left oblique diameter say ap diameter pe aa jayenge so after the internal rotation of the shoulder and external rotation of the head the sinciput facing the left right thigh of the mother occiput facing the left thigh of the mother anterior uh, shoulder delivered by posterior flexion and posterior shoulder delivered by anterior flexion lateral flexion of the body simple steps okay thank you